Hi everybody, welcome to Art Day. My name is Sarah, I'm the artist from Pinsel Geschichten and today I want to have this painting here done um, or a painting in this particular book done. This is the letter journal that I sent back and forth with my um, artist cousin. So I want to uh, have the next bit uh, or the, the next painting done and for that I want to work with acrylics today and uh, do something um, season inspired so we're going towards autumn so I thought I would paint maybe a rose hip but I don't want to go watercolor because I have been <laughs> recording three videos for uh, beyond the lines before I started this video and there were some wet watercolor like media involved So I want to do something else since this is a mixed media page or uh, paper I can very well uh, use other um, Other things on this and I'm looking at the colors that I want to use because I want to work with acrylics and a colored pencil on top. I seem to really have fallen in love with that particular way of um, doing stuff. Now for the background I thought I would go with a blue, so blue harbor and slate gray maybe, or in Indian turquoise, well it's kind of hmm. Yeah, and then turquoise and slate gray. I want to have like a marble background. There's going to be a rose hip on top, so it's green and red. Uh, but I want uh, something else in the background. So I'm going to take the uh, slate gray and the Indian turquoise. And I'm just going to mix a uh, background and have it loosely painted in before I start with my... Um, subject but I want to also have a few clips for my uh, vlog so I'm having the vlog camera running to sorry if there's any beeping it, that was that <laughs> so I'm starting with a damp brush and I'm going in with the slate gray and I'm just gonna have a layer of that slate gray down here. Clean my brush and go into the Indian turquoise, mixing that into or with the slate gray. I have to work quick because that uh, paint here really dries fast. But I want some pure color and also some mixed colors, so a bit more of the gray. Just pretty much going back and forth between the two colors and paint the background there. very simple but um, I'm not sure if my cousin has seen this um, technique or the special kind of acrylics that you could do shenanigans like that with um, so I wanted to use it in the book and tell her all about it I hope you had a great weekend. Uh, I've been, uh, the weekend that I've been, or that I'm recording this, so one week earlier than you are going to see this video. Uh, we had birthday weekend with the family, so a couple of birthday parties with friends and family members. And um, we had game night and 
went out and stuff. So that was nice and I enjoyed that a lot. So I hope you have a great weekend too or had a great weekend too. I would love for you to have enjoyed yourself. So um, I have my background in. I clean my brush and um, close these lids here. And I want to put in some white, kind of like um, uh, fog or clouds or something. So I'm taking a bit of the white, very little bit only. And I'm going to take a new flat brush, a dry one. No water in there. Just uh, dab it there and brush it in. To work it a bit. Maybe a bit of water here would help. Yeah, it does help. Going a bit just with the rest of the white in my brush and just some water going over it. Yeah, that's it. Cleaning my brush and then I'm very quickly going to dry this layer, layer because on top I want to sketch out my rose hip and I need a dry surface for that. Okay. Now I need a white pencil. And then I'm going to take a Karen Dash Luminance pencil. Let me sharpen it. And I'm going to use that for sketching out my rose hip. I don't want to use graphite because um, I feel that I can get rid of any lines that I don't need uh, better with this luminance pencil and if I want to leave a few lines sketching lines that actually would look nice I very 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 heavily doubt that it would look anything as nice with um, say a graphite pencil or something so I'm gonna take whoop, my rosebud here, or my rose hip, and they grow along the streets here and really look nice currently. So that's why I uh, chose it as as a subject because it is very, very much like autumn uh, here. So we have a lot of these rose hips on the streets and bushes and on I don't know ways walking ways or something so let's get you out There we go. And now I need a bit of uh, some leaves and stuff in this stem down here. Um, let's take, take a leaf here. Um, something like so. 
So there's the top. Goes something like this. And uh, then another one in front here. And then there's thinner stem maybe back here. Something like this. And maybe... Hmm. Another leaf down here. And then there's just maybe a hint of a leaf back here. Yeah, so I'm going to color this in with um, my with my um, acrylics, and then I'm going to go with color pencil on top. So I want want an angle brush, maybe. Yeah, this one looks nice. Some red, true red, for my um, rose hip butt here. And also some of the uh, deep burgundy. It's almost uh, a brown, like a maroon or something, and that actually is kind of nice. The second shading color or something. And also, to have it um, here, the lower part here. So, <coughs> excuse me. There's gonna be some espresso. Where is the espresso? Ah, there. Need some brown for to clean my brushes, hold on. Talking in brush cleaning at the same time, difficult, at least when it comes to explaining something. So I need a bit of a dark brown here that is going to be uh, highlighted with a yellow ochre later. So I will put in the highlight with um, color pencil later. I want the dark brown base in this case. That's why I'm going with espresso. You could also do it the other way around. That would totally work as well. Uh, go with the light and shade with the dark. But I think I want to go this way around at this point. Maybe something like this. Mm, I need different greens for the leaves. I need something like the foliage green, which is uh, this one here. Yeah, that's the correct one. Um, I need also a new brush. There we go. So I want this to be pretty dry. That's why I'm not taking a brush that I had already used, if I can help it. So that would be for this leaf. 
same for this one and also the one here. Um, there's um, maybe a bit of darker green on this particular leaf here, but gonna have it light green at this point. Might add a bit of a darker green in a minute. The first. This one here. Also, something like this. Need a darker green, so I'm taking the uh, what's it called? Hauser dark green. And oh, no, let's go with the light first. Uh, the green tea, so that's a lighter color, even. And I can bring this in here where the sun hits it pretty much. Um, maybe a bit here. Ooh. Picked up the red, didn't want that. Um, something like... Like this. And like that. So there's the lights and now I'm adding just a little, little, little tiny bit of the very dark green, so the dark hauser. And uh, that will mainly go here. And also here. Of course it will go here. As well as here on the tip of this particular leaf. And I also need to pick up a bit of that dark green for these other leaves here. something like this. Now I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to add a bit more details and color with my color pencils. Also need a bit of space on my desk so I will very quickly write down the colors of the uh, deco art that I used and uh, you can read them up on my blog post later today at uh, 10 a.m. CET there's going to be uh, the blog post up for this particular thing here so I just had the true red the deep burgundy The snow white, slate gray, what was that other one? Indian turquoise, 
Mm. P. Hauser. Uh, then the green tea. And the foliage. Oh, and the espresso. Almost forgot. Espresso. So I can quickly clean my desk up here a bit. Make space. Oh, I forgot the luminance pencil for sketching. Uh, gotta write that down. Otherwise I'd forget and that would not be good, right? Luminance white. What's that pencil number? Mm. Yeah. All right. Now I got it. Um, move that bit here. That too. And now I can bring in my colored pencils. So I'm using wax based very cheap pencils today. I already am using them for uh, my coloring for the uh, 30 day coloring challenge. Currently using them there, but uh, that are the pencils that are set aside here, so I cannot. I hope I'm not gonna screw up my um, my way of remembering which pencils I use. Let me zoom you in a bit because this is rather a very well. That's a narrow narrow bit of. Uh, artwork that I'm working on here so I could zoom you in Ooh, and I'm losing pencils already left and right so I'm going to start with this part here and color the darkest bits uh, of the brown I will of course add a bit of a yellow ochre But first I want the dark bits done so that I can put on the highlights later on in a minute or a hot second, depending. Um, my golden green rot here that is closest to a uh, yellow ochre so I'm going to use this there's a yellow ochre on top of my espresso brown to put in some lights here now I will have a bit of a dark brown here Underneath this bit, and then I'm going to take this uh, very red brown to shade uh, the right hand side here of my rose hip. I don't have a very dark red as a pencil, so I have to rely on browns and stuff to help me out there. Uh, I need a really true red though because I need to intensify the red color on my rose hip here too so 
I'm going in with my true red pencil. And then I'm going back with my reddish brown here and I'm going to blend the uh, two bits together. So the part that is in the shadow and the part that has this very vibrant, lovely red there. Also, I'm going to have a bit something like a shadow here on the very outside to make it look a bit round. Might also add a bit of that very dark brown pencil. And the red also goes here on this particular part. Then I need my white, because uh, I want to set the highlight here. And here. And I always can go, if I feel it is too white, I can go with a very light touch with a red on top so that it looks more like a light red bit of a highlight maybe up here. And more dark here. And now I want to work on the leaves. I think my rose hip is fine. So I can put back the red and the brown, or I can put them to the side because I will have to write this down. Um, for the greens, let me think what I want for the greens. Hmm. I think I want something. Hmm. Something like a lime green, maybe. That almost goes into whoop, almost goes into a yellow. There we go. And then I want a very dark green. For the shadows. I need, also need this one for a bit of a um, light and I think I will need, do I, maybe, maybe a bit of a red or a purple something. But let's go with these shades first. So, I'm going to start with the yellow. They're not go it's not going to be everywhere, but here and there there's going to be a bit of yellow and not only a lime green as the major part of uh, coloring the still nice looking leaves. <laughs> I'm going to take this dark green here. <laughs> to uh, intensify my coloring here. The pigment has to be a bit smoother on the leaves, otherwise the rose hip looks kind of weird. A bit more of a brown here. And then go 
about it pretty much the same way here. Have a little bit of the yellow. But mostly the lime green. And down here, go in with the dark green. A bit of the brown. And on this one I also want a little bit of this um, greenish golden tone here, this, I don't know, yellow rod or green gold, whatever you want to call it. A bit of that. I uh, need more of the brown here. And this here is really dark, so I could actually add a little tiny smidge of the black, not too much, just a bit here. Also on some other pieces just to have color repetition. Um, and then I think I'm not going to use the yellow anymore, at least not on these two leaves, maybe a little bit here, but here on those, the light green is going to be the light. And I'm going to bring in the um, yellow, ochre, golden, green color. Yeah, that's, that's how it's called. I really am very sure that this is the case. We'll color it here. Maybe a bit here. Take a bit of that autumn yellow tone to it. Just a bit. And then go in with some brown, dark brown. There we go. And the other two leaves, let's start with this one. More brown here on this one too. A 
and of course to yellow it a bit and make it autumn looking a bit of this green yellow golden pencil Since this is so much in shadow here, gonna add a bit more brown to it. And just a smidge of black. And final leaf. I think I want some more white here. And Now for the final leaf. That has mostly dark green. And of course, also a bit of the brown just to help with shading and having the leaf curve, you know. And I really like these kinds of uh, fast acrylic paint and um, color pencil sketches recently. I really like them. A bit of the yellowish golden tone here. And a bit of the black. And there is my rose hip. Now I'm going to zoom you back out because now I want to have the rest of this page done for one the frame. Don't has to it doesn't has to have to be uh, straight lines. But something like this. Going to widen that frame a bit because it looks kind of lost at this point, and I don't want this to be lost. And 
And then I also want a bit of the white here. Pretty much right beside that black pencil to uh, have a bit of an interest on this frame. And I think I want a bit of a white highlight here on some leaves too. So I'm adding that. And uh, now I want want a, like an autumn or fall or something, but I have to write it in German because my cousin doesn't speak English, so she wouldn't be able to read it. Uh, I think I want. I want to stamp with black ink and once that is dry, take the white pencil to it. Mm, let's see, here are my stamps. So I'm just going to um, get the right stamps out. I think that would be a nice thing. Mm. There's a German lesson for you, <laughs> even in um, in the Art Day video. I usually only have them on Gamer's Couch, but well, here we go. So the German word for uh, fall or autumn is Herbst. So that's S T B R E H. There, the stamp goes like this, but the uh, or the, the print goes like that, but the stem is otherwise, so this is how I have to lay it down. Woo! Sorry, folks. So I'm just going to take black ink. I'm trying not to stamp perfectly straight, because I'm incapable to do that with these uh, single letter stamps. So I'm gonna make it wonky on purpose. And I'm just taking black archival ink here. Nothing fancy. And now the H. Something like this. Now I need to have this dry. I think I want a bit, little bit of a black pencil also here on these brown bits on top. So I'm going to draw this in or color this in while I wait for the ink to dry. I'm gonna help a little bit with a blow dryer in a hot second. Just quickly want this to be done. All right, now the blow dryer and then I'm gonna finish this off with, well, signing the date 
and uh, having some white highlights on the letters. I think that should work. Yeah, I'm penciling this in just a little bit on the left hand side. And I'm thinking I might add some white splatter to this page just to have a bit of um, a bit of a contrast going on there, maybe something, some interest and stuff. I think that would work rather nicely. So so here's the luminance. Let me very quickly. Oh, that was loud. Sorry, that my pen was in a metal box. Let me very quickly sign it. And now I can splatter some acrylic paint on top. Uh, I would need the prep here just to make, make sure that. Uh, my my surface is secured and everything needs some white acrylic paint just a small dot something like this is absolutely well enough for that I'm gonna thin it down with water And it is really thin here. And then I'm just gonna splatter a bit. That's that. That's enough. Ta da, my piece is done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching along. Maybe you got inspired to make an autumn piece. On your own take a plant that you um, associate with autumn or fall and uh, paint it in a nice scenery or draw it in a nice scenery and well splatter some acrylic paint. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below as per usual. I'm going to be back next week with a new art day. I have no clue what I'm going to do, so I'm going to be inspired hopefully later this week for a new art project there. Thank you again for watching. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a new video. And uh, you could give me a thumbs up on this video if you uh, really liked it and want to let me know. So take good care, folks. Have a wonderful day. I hope you have some time to maybe color or paint or draw or whatever, whatever it is that you do to pamper your soul. I hope you got some time for that that would be very nice right and uh, have a wonderful week and i'm gonna see you next time bye